To set up your hold, press all fingers back until they return to the home position. Even though the adaptic system is highly effective when gripping complex profiles, our simplistic and adaptive design can also be leveraged for your basic parts and applications. This replaces a variety of work holding practices, such as blank hard jaws and parallels. Once all the fingers are in their home position, pull one out to use as a stop and lock those in place. Please note, for proper operation, we suggest you torque both of the locking bolts to 65 foot-pounds. It is important that the part is not in the vise when you do this. Once you've completed torquing the locking bolts, your profile hold is set and won't need adjusted until it's time to fixture your next profile. When you are ready for the next shape, simply break those locking bolts free and repeat. In operations where one would prefer clamping off center, you can move the adaptix fingers back and use one as a stop on the far side of the unit. Then instead of utilizing a spacer or another piece on the opposite side, use two fingers pressed together as the spacer. This will equalize pressure on the movable jaw. For round profile gripping, we must remember that the middle two fingers are not movable. We call this the rib. We can utilize the ribs to clamp just slightly and then fill in the rest of the fingers needed to set the shape quickly. And for all shapes, make sure you torque the locking bolts to 65 foot-pounds to properly secure the position of the fingers as shown. Please note, it is important that the part is not in the vise when you do this. Remember, once you've torqued the locking bolts and secured your part shape, you can easily repeat that same profile and remove the need to retorque the hardware. When you are ready for the next shape, simply break those locking bolts free and repeat. In our next example, we have another round, so this allows me to again utilize the center rib. Bring the movable end so it's just touching the part and fill in the rest of the shape, utilizing as many fingers as possible. Once the fingers are set in place, lock the shape, remove the part, and then lock the locking bolt to 65 foot-pounds. As you can see, a movable jaw will move around a little bit as we are torquing, so it's important that the part is out of the vise. Once locked, all the actuation happens in utilizing the vise. Lastly, we can hammer the part down with a dead blow hammer to get it flat, ensuring it's seated. If a part is not going to be contacting the rib on both sides, you will bring in the jaw until it's almost touching, but not quite. Then put a small amount of drag on the fingers, followed by pressing them in place. Notice that you can utilize the movable jaw first to push the part into the fixed jaw, then adjust the fixed jaw. This allows the adaptix to function essentially as a machine jaw. As you can see from this example, the center rib is not in contact with the part. Due to the practical and efficient design of the system, users can still achieve maximum clamping force without center rib part contact. For this segment, we have a part that has been machined from a square billet. Knowing this, we can properly secure our second part in a similar fashion to the part we completed in the previous segment. Utilizing the fixed jaw against flat, coming in close, fill in as many fingers as you can utilize, lock that down, and then fill in the rest from the fixed side. 
Once the fingers are set in place, lock the shape, remove the part, and then lock the locking bolt to 65 foot-pounds. For larger profiles, we can set it on the bottom of the vise and square to one finger, utilizing the front of the fingertips as the clamping surface.